Okay, so the aim of this experiment is to determine what the relationship is between the length of the wire and the resistance of a wire. So what we've got is we've got our power pack, which is connected in series to our ammeter. Then our ammeter lead comes and connects to the zero end of the wire. So that's zero centimeters. Although, of course, for an evaluation point, you could talk about this. Then what you've got from the other side of the power pack is this wire coming out into the variable resistor. We can vary the resistance of this, that's why it's called a variable resistor. And at the other end, we're going to connect the variable resistor to the other end of the wire. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our voltmeter and connect it in parallel to this part of the wire. Now to do that, we can just connect it up to the lead that's coming from the ammeter and we can leave the other wire coming from the voltmeter free so that's a free wire let me just show you and the reason is because we can go and measure the different lengths and uh, complete the circuit by pressing this voltmeter at whatever distances we want to place it so now with this one we need the voltage to be low okay so the voltage keep it at three volts uh, one of the health and safety risks of this practical is the wire can get hot, it can get red hot in fact. So you don't really want to be playing around with that. So what we can do is we can uh, press, switch it on when you're ready. And all you're going to do is you're going to record the voltage and the current at different readings. So I would go for 20 centimeters. That is 20 centimeters from here. So I'll take my loose crocodile clip from my voltmeter and place it at 20 centimeters, and that will give me a voltage and a current reading. I'll make a record of that, I'll record that, then go to 40, then 60, then 80. Or you could go up in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Completely up to you how you want to do it. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about the table. The table for this experiment. Uh, would look something like this. So length of wire 20, 40, 60, 80 up to 100 centimeters. Now like I said you could go up in 10 so you could do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 etc. That's up to you. Then we're going to measure the voltage in volts, the current in amps and the resistance. Now the resistance uh, is going to be worked out by using the formula resistance is equal to voltage divided by current right so you do this column divided by that column to give you your resistance and then you're going to find out the relationship so as the length increases what happens to the resistance and then what you could do after that is you could plot a graph of the length of the wire against the resistance of the wire